This is Cherry, and I'm here at the press room for iZombie, CW's new hit from the minds of Veronica Mars. So. so what's it like playing a funny buddy comedy cop zombie? <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it. It's a little bit of everything. I really like the variety. I like that just when I'm exhausted from doing a full-on zombie mode growling scene, there's some really nice banter scene where I get... You know, to be in the morgue with Ravi and, and um, shooting the breeze. So there's all sorts in the show. Now, did you read the comic graphic novel before you started uh, filming? I read it, yeah, before we started filming. When I booked the job and I knew it was based on a comic series, I absolutely read it and wanted to um, be able to draw from that as much as we could. And there's some cool little Easter eggs in, in the show, um, paying homage to the comics too. Squeezes. <laughs> um, my love affair with... With the, with the point, the point really? You just point like she's a with lamp. Rose. <laughs> with Rose. Oh well, I mean, you know, as we've seen, they're they're separated and they're they're broken up. I think it's a bit of a Sam and Diane that will they won't they? And I know that Major wants it to happen, but um, you know, we'll have to see. As of right now, it's 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 not looking. Um, it's not, not turn this down. Well, I I appreciate that compliment, but unfortunately, <laughs> zombies can be stubborn. WonderCon. Thank you so much. How do you love being the villain of iZombie? I love it. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of uh, mustache twirling and uh, scenery chewing. So, yeah, what's not to like? You too. How do you like? So how do you like playing the buddy cop in a zombie series? I love it. I love it. I love, I love the fact that, you know, Clive starts off as this rookie inexperience uh you know detective and you get and just to c grow each week and progress in that role you know because most a lot of procedures start off with detectives who are so put together they've been on, on the force for so many years but you never really see their their first day on the job and so the audience the audience saw pretty much clive's first day on the first actually first couple of months on the job with no success so you get to see him grow and become better so it's been, it's a lot of fun. been fine it's been how do you love being on iZombie? Oh, with all of my heart. Uh, it's a fun show. Um, we are all very close as a cast, so it's like being at school, like going to lessons. Like we just muck around. We're professional, uh, but there's a lot of mucking around and fun and jokes, and, and we, we, we enjoy making the show. What's been your favorite episode to film? My favorite episode? Ooh, um, the pilot. The pilot meant a lot to me. It was my first real job. Um, and I was cast out of nowhere. It was such a fluke. Um, I was literally put on tape and uh, from London, and then I was flown out to Vancouver. So that first time walking in the morgue and putting on the lab coat and working with Rosie and, and, and Malcolm and, and everyone else, it, it holds a really. It was like that first day was one of the best days of my life. So for, um, yeah, so it's a pilot. Myself. What drew you to iZombie? Um, the head of Warner Brothers Development said that we need the next great CW kick-ass heroine on the network. And uh, they said, she said, we want the next Veronica, we want the next Buffy, and Joss Whedon was not available. So I was, I was, I was next up for that mission. Um, so we, it was definitely inspired by the comic, and, it, and like the heart of it was in there, this journey that this woman had of being like in your mid-20s when you think you know what's going on with your life, and then all of a sudden you get completely derailed, and not just derailed by a normal occurrence, but by being a zombie was so interesting to us, so that's the, the inspiration that we took from the, the comic. How is the writing for this um, different than Veronica Mars, since they're both strong females, they're both, you know, fun, but one's a zombie and one's not? Um, I think that the difference about it was, I mean, they both have a procedural element, but this also had, like, the, the sci-fi element that I've been craving as a sci-fi nerd and uh, a genre geek that I couldn't wait to kind of get in there and, and do this, but I think we had, I think we a little bit of a difference was this was more fun. Like, I don't know, Veronica Mars was pretty fun to write too, but this was, I don't know, they, they were so interested in the project that we got to just kind of go in there and have a good time. And it was pretty, it was just fun. We had a great time. I'm having a good time watching it. Thank you so much for bringing eyes on. Oh my god! TV. Thank you for watching it. I'm so thrilled to do it. And it's such a great cast. You guys oh are god. just it's on point. 
It's amazing. Our cast is amazing. And it, it came together like so late in the game that you were thinking like, ah. You know, Rob <laughs> always says that for Veronica Mars, Kristen was the first person they saw out of 100. And for, for this show, Rose is the last person we saw out of 100. So she walked in and I was like, it's like one of those like cop scenes where you handcuff yourself to someone so that they can't get away. I was like, you're here. Don't leave. But um, yeah, so I pretend that I found um, Raul Coley at a... Um, uh, Chuck E. Cheese in London, but they don't have Chuck E. Cheese's there, so I didn't discover him, which kind of pisses me off because I wish I did. Well, it's great. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thank yeah. you. I hope you're having a great WonderCon. Thanks. Hope you are too. Take care. Take care.